April 18th, 2017, I'm at Dinosaur Valley National Park. This is the Palexi River, and right there, hard to see because the previous people who came through here muddied up the water. But there you can see a three-toed one, some more. They go off into the distance. Move around a little bit. There's so many little pot marks and things in the rocks here that it would be real easy to miss the real ones and maybe not miss the real ones, but definitely see other ones. And you can see sort of a track going that way at this spot. Again, there's the start right there. All right, I'm going to put this on hold for a moment. All right, I moved over a little bit. And those are much easier to see right over there. Those are big ones. And these were related to uh, Tyrannosaurus. Pleuroclosis, I can't remember what it was that they were called. You can see the different layers up here. And how did they make that? Well, they were going through mud. Now there's some other uh, there's some four-footed ones out here that have different front and rear legs, feet patterns. And there's some others that uh, are two-legged. Back in the 30s, some folks saw some of the uh, prints that were not the normal three-toed or four-toed uh, dinosaurs. And they said, oh, look, humans. And so in the 30s, and it sort of lingers today, there was some controversy saying, well, there's human footprints out here as well. So that goes to show all the... Uh, billions of years and millions of years ago stuff was wrong or people have been here for millions and billions of years so um, I won't get involved in that controversy I'll just mention that it existed but uh, there are some good ones I'm going to put on pause one more time and get a little closer